Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is day eight of Follow a Sketch February, uh, which is a series put on by Sandy, who is state goddess here on YouTube and Scrapping Reflections is her company as well as the Facebook group. And that Facebook group is where you are going to be able to find all of the sketches. So today's sketch is from Creative Authority and it's super grungy. Like it just, it just reminds me of something very grungy. So uh, I'm sure MK is playing along. So I'm super excited to see what she's gonna make with this one uh, just because it's got all those gears and such. So I am going to start with a background that I made previously uh, with some shimmers. I do have a video on my channel uh, that kind of shows those backgrounds. And then I went into my scraps and just pulled a couple of pieces of paper. So you can see in the sketch, it's got kind of like a, like a decorative border uh, theirs is kind of off to the side. It's almost an L design, um, but my L design is going to be a little bit more central. So I took these scraps. I'm going to layer them up. I matted my photo with one. Um, so this photo is of Rainbow Falls. So we actually went to Rainbow Falls twice. Uh, we went on our own and then we went on a tour. It was a stop before the volcano. And uh, when we went, it was crystal clear. And then they had a storm in between the days that we went. And you can see how muddy and mucky the, uh, the falls are. So uh, that's, what, that's what the journaling is going to be on this. So here are a couple of those other scraps going to make the L portion of the design. I'm going to stick my one photo, which looks like it's one photo in the sketch four by six, uh, where it is. Now I tore a bunch of the sides of the paper. So when I matted my photo, I also tore the bottom. I do love to tear paper. Now, originally I had picked out the scrap piece paper for the other side, but then I liked these little circular bits, so I decided to go off camera and fussy cut them out. And I'm gonna kind of use those as the idea of the um, gears. So I'm doing floral bits instead of the gears. And then I went through some of the pieces in my kit and just pulled out a few things. It's it's not going to be a super heavily embellished kit. I liked this piece down here that says, when you stop and look around, life is pretty amazing. So I'm gonna put that down there. And then I have a little journaling block that says a vacation to remember. Now I'm gonna end up moving that to the other side and putting another one of those fussy cut wreaths out. Um, oh, I guess it's still over there. So I guess I'm just going to move the journaling block. I did fussy cut out that, hmm, that cute little camera. It's not on my layout. I don't even think it's on my desk. <laughs> well, if I find it, I might remember where it goes, but there is a good chance that, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to find it. <laughs> It's amazing how that, that happens sometimes, right? So I'm going to create a little cluster on the top, even though it doesn't show that in the sketch. I just felt like, I, I guess it's the visual triangle. I wasn't necessarily trying to do that on purpose, but, you know, our eyes are drawn to that. So I think that we tend to do that without thinking sometimes. So I'm going to create a little cluster at the top that says, remember, hello, you, this. I added a couple of clouds. And then to the top of that journaling block, I added a piece that says, this is the story. So that way I can tell basically the story of why uh, the waterfalls look like this uh, 
prior to some of the other pictures. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do for a title. I felt like there's something that needs to be on that wreath to the right. And I'm going to end up remembering that I have this little rainbow and I found these blue tile stickers in the Simple Stories uh, sticker book. And so I'm going to just take out the letters to spell falls. So the rainbow's on top. So hopefully I will remember that it is Rainbow Falls. Otherwise, it just says falls, which totally works as well. So everything is glued down and I am just going to finish it off with a couple of these Vicki Booten Wear Two Next puffy stickers. Um, I really do love these and you get so many, you get hearts and stars and circles and they're in different sizes. So I'm actually just going to do three of those around the page and I'm going to call this one good. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I do have a, a couple of close-ups for you. Um, yeah, so we are just a little over a week in and going strong. So I think we're going to make it all month. Yay. There is my final layout. So I hope you like it. I love it. Remember to wear your crown and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.